Hey folks, Jason Dukes, Dirt Race Life. In this video, we're making repairs to our Camaro to get it ready to go to the racetrack. We had a previous bumper that had seen better days. So we're figuring out how to bend up the tubing to match one of these new style Camaro noses, get that installed, and then bolting the nose on. Stick around. This is the Dominator. Um, they are in no way a sponsor for me or anything along those lines. But I bought a couple of noses from them now. And the plastic that they're using is, it is a very stiff uh, plastic compared to some of the less expensive over the years noses that I've done. This is a, it's a really, it's a really rigid product. So it's a good, for what they're doing, I mean this stuff, like this tang and this nose has got no warping or anything. Some of them, you know, they come out of the box, you got to take a heat gun and work on them because they, it's like they load them up and they're, they're warped up, but not the Dominators. Camaro noses here, they got really nice lines. It's easy. It's easy to get these right. Some of them are kind of hard to put together to get it and figure out exactly where it should be, but I don't have any trouble with these. So I just take a step wagon. So here's, here's how I'm gonna do this to, to make this bumper. This is just inch and a half 083 HREW, which is, it's got a welded seam in it. Um, I don't use DOM anywhere except critical points in the roll cage. Everywhere else I'm using the less expensive HREW. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna bend it to match the outside of the bumper with the exception of the corners. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to figure out how much to just leave overhanging on the end here. And I'll put this bend in here and this bend until I get this contour to match. So I'll match this contour right here. And then I'll turn around and 
I'm gonna use my cheaters and I'm probably, so I've got like a 45 cheater here made up and what I'll probably do, yeah, and that's going, that 45 would be perfect. But what I'll do is, is I'll figure out how much to back the cheater up. And then like, this is my mark where it goes in my bender. And so I'll take and I'll mark this new bar and put a 45 in and then that's gonna put that on the inside of that nose. Okay, so check this out. I just took and took measurements of the angles on the outside of the nose. You wouldn't even have to measure it. I mean, you could just bend it to, to match, but I measured it, it came up like, uh, I think it was like 20 degrees and then like 15 degrees. But anyway, so I just matched it to the outside like that, okay? I got it all bent up, it's running long on the ends. And then all I'm doing is just taking a measurement from the center here out to this edge. And like this nose is 34 inches where this uh, side peels off right here. So I just marked this nose, uh, the tubing for the nose here, I just marked it at 34 inches. And I know that my outside of my turn has to be inside of that mark. So this is about a 45 right here. So I got my 45 cheater. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move my 45 cheater back until that is turned in inside of that nose right there. And of course, my cheater, I've got my mark for where it goes in the die. So I'm just gonna make that mark right there. So now I know where to put it in the die. So when I take it 45, this outside will be inside of this nose and it will fit. And it's just, that's all it is to it. Same deal over here on this side. I'm just gonna take it and put it where it's sitting inside of it and make the mark. And so that's how you can just take a nose and then just bend the bar up on the outside to match these, these complex shapes now that are on these these new uh, Camaro style noses. And then like I said, all you have to do is match it to the outside and then where it turns in on the end right here, um, just shorten up using a cheater like that. Not a big deal. All right, so I put my 45s on the ends. Let's see where we're at. Turn the nose around. See if we're close enough, to make you swap. It's gonna lay right in there. Yep. And so it all matches up across, and then I turn these short enough to get inside on each of the fender corners. And, uh, and that's all it is to it there. So now we will uh, set this nose aside for a little bit. And so then the next thing, we'll clean these, clean where we cut the old one off, uh, clean up our mount points and everything, get them halfway decent to weld on and tack it in place. Then we'll take and put the nose, we'll just temporarily kind of mount the nose and make sure that we're good. If we need to adjust, adjust uh, before welding it up solid.
So I got my three cripples in here. Um, this is fine. I got one leg I'm gonna put across right here and we're gonna put the nose on it. This is just, uh, this is just the most 65 wall. Uh, one inch L65 wall is all this is. And all it's doing is, it's gonna absorb, if I get a really hard lick, it's gonna help to make all of this be more springy. That's all it's doing. Be a little bit more springy, a little less, a little more forgiving, maybe. That's all it's going to do. Nose. Alright. Oh, yeah. That's good. That works. So most of these super nice noses you see, the bumper jobs behind them. <laughs> you ain't seen it, don't worry about it. Just get the support in there here. We'll so we'll show how that looks. So basically, got an upper bar and a lower bar. And uh show you what it looks like from underneath. Here. <clears throat> Alright, so this is better right here. This will work. So you can see what I've got here is that upper and lower bar there up high. And that's where you're actually going to be, if you push a car or anything, that's where you're going to contact if you come in contact with the car. And then this lower, this is just square tubing that is just cut to fit into this lower slot. And so you see how that works. The only other thing I see we need to do is we need to cut the ends of our tubes off where we bent it and put it behind there. So let's get our we'll pull one fender off and we'll get this other fender off here. So the way this nose and I follow this line is, is it's turned up just a little bit on the right side. It's like two inches higher on the right than it is left. And I don't know that it matters that much, but keeps you from digging the right cone into the ground. If you're really low, but I'm not that low on my car.
All right, I got a confession. I forgot my bumper tow hook. Um, I use a U-bolt. Uh, you need a good straight one. And a piece of, like this is three quarter inch tubing that the bolt will go through. And so I'm gonna cut this apart and weld it on to the bumper and then drill some holes through for the U-bolt to go through. And then when you go to take the bumper off, you can just unbolt the U-bolt out of it and it'll slide right off. Works really good. So let's cover that right quick. Now we've got the whole thing popperated together. I've pulled the clickos out. And just put that number right there. And that does make it a lot easier. Two pieces of tubing. I'm just going to take and slide these down like this right here. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is lay it right there. I'm going to make sure that I can get to this back with an impact or something. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it up just a little bit like that. Where that, if I'm under the car and I need to take it off, I can just put an impact on it from underneath. Set it when you pull on it where it's room to hook a hook onto it. But like if I'm bump if I bump into somebody, you just push down. So works real good. got a headlight kit from Dominator to go on their nose. Let's see what that looks like. All right. Oh yeah. So that concludes uh, repairing the bumper, getting the new nose cover on, stuck a few graphics on here, looks good, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. Uh, one thing I hope you took away from it, see that I'm not going to put a tremendous amount of effort into uh, getting everything precision for that tubing behind one of these noses. To me this is collapsible, disposable stuff, you, you know you're going to tear them up and if I've only got a few hours in it and 10 or 15 dollars in tubing then if I tear it up at the track, I'm not going to be that frustrated about it. I'm just going to, one evening in the shop that week, you know, fix it and be ready to go for the next weekend. Uh, if this was helpful to you, hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know, and please subscribe. Thank y'all.